Hello, Trinity family. Proverbs 21, 5 tells us the plans of the diligent lead surely to advantage. And we are working this summer to have a successful school year. We are thankful to see California's Department of Education guidelines released. This is obligatory for public schools, but not for private schools. We are looking at their material, but also looking at other national and international schools who have already opened and taking note of what is working for them. And before we go on into more details about our plans to reopen in August, let's take a look and see what's going on in the month of July at Trinity. Summer camp extends an additional hour and now opens at 7 a.m. till 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. We also have piano camp beginning July 7th, praise band camp July 14th, and music camp July 21st. We will also provide additional information about a possible sports camp opening up towards the end of July. Wednesday, August 19, is our first day of school and it will be on site. Regular school hours, our classrooms can implement social distancing guidelines. An opening will happen in a way where we place safety first, but also uphold parental rights. And that means masks will not be mandatory. We will also have recess and PE. And recess and PE will be taking place outside where they can be exposed to the sun. We will also have an altered lunch schedule to be able to allow the students to eat lunches in the lunch room. Plan A values the social emotional health of students, faculty, and staff, as well as providing physical health. However, depending on the status of the pandemic, we might need to move to plan B, C, or D. And before we go into those plans, Proverbs 15, reminds us that without consultation, plans are frustrated, but with many counselors, they succeed. If you have any recommendations, if you have questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us. I want you to be aware we meet on a weekly basis with local, national, and international schools, mostly private, but also public schools, so we can plan to have a successful start on August 19. For Plan A to work, we need all to work together to send only healthy students to school. Children who are sick must remain home until it is safe for them to return. Please do not mask these symptoms with fever medication. If they are sick, they must remain home until it is safe to return. We will provide for them videoed lectures so that they will not be behind in their homework. Please keep in mind that this plan is subject to change depending on any new orders coming from our governor. Plan B moves us to a combination of high safety. And what that means is everyone will have to wear masks at all times and we will be increasing physical distance measures. If we're forced to move into another plan, Plan C will allow kindergarten through third grade to come on campus Monday through Thursday and it will continue on Friday at home. Fourth grade and up will come on campus Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and remain home Tuesday and Thursday. If we're ordered by the governor to shut down, Plan D goes into effect where all students continue receiving remote and online learning at home until we are allowed to phase back to the other plans. Proverbs 16.9 reminds us that in their hearts, humans plan their course but it is the Lord that establishes their steps. And so Isaiah 25 verse 1 tells us, O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will give thanks to your name, for you have worked wonders, plans formed long ago with perfect faithfulness. We know God's plan is in place, and nothing we are going through takes him by surprise. May we take this time to recognize our dependence on a sovereign God. We will do our very best to make plans for what is best for the students, families, faculty, and staff. But we have to rest in the fact that God is in control. And that is what gives us hope. More details will be coming up in mid-July. And until then, may we continue to love, live, and lead as Jesus modeled.